Hi loves, my name is Stepha Lafon and I am a life coach for moms and I'm so excited that you are joining me today for this month's full moon meditation. So prior to getting started, one thing that I like to do is cleanse myself and also cleanse the space, which is something I've already done. So you can cleanse in whatever way feels comfortable for you. There is no right or wrong way to do it. You can use incense, you can use bay leaf, cinnamon sticks, obviously sage. Right now I have Palo Santo, whatever herb you have. If you're really in like a sleep mood and you really want to have some great dreams, mugwort is an amazing herb to you. So it all depends on what you are being called to or what you have in the house. So I have a lot of incense. I have it lit all around me. You can have, um, if you have Florida water, you can do that. I have a Palo Santo spray. So I have already sprayed that. I just love the smell of Palo Santo. I love the uplifting spirits that it brings. So that's something that I do often. So if you are using something that's kind of like a smudge stick, you want to just have it around yourself. So just cleanse yourself, cleanse your aura. Same thing with incense and just simply just have the intentions of cleansing and releasing any energies and welcoming in positive energies, right? I also then will do the same thing with the space. One of my favorite things and simple things to say is just walk around cleansing the space, particularly in a full moon and really removing energy from the house. Well, it's great to have your windows open when you're doing this. So like you give the bad energy somewhere to go. So I don't stay in your house, have the door open. Even if you live in an apartment, I do that all the time. And saying into the smoke, I release any energy that doesn't serve me, any negativity that surrounds me and all fears that limit me. That's it. Release it. Let it go. And just do as much as you can to bring yourself to the present moment. Before we get started with the meditation, what I did is something that I love to do is pulling a card for, for the collective. What kind of energy are we experiencing right now? What kind of energy should be working with? What is the message from spirit? So here's what I got for y'all. And this is from my moon deck. So the first one is I trust the mystery of my life. So think about that and what it means for you. How can you surrender a lot of times we don't know what's going to happen we don't know what's going on and we put all this pressure on ourselves to know exactly what the next step is and judge ourselves for not knowing that so really how can you kind of like lean into that mystery the magic that lies in the mystery and how can you surrender to life unfolding just as it's supposed to rather than you trying to impose your will on it so that's that and then this one is one of my favorites it's a snake and again, all about shedding. I shed habits that hinder my truth. I release and renew. I mean, how perfect is that for a full moon? It's a time to come into ourselves to really see what habits that are not serving us, what stories aren't serving us. So one thing that you're encouraged to do with the energy of this message and the snake is to really let go of habits, stories, behaviors, and relationships that hinder your truth. So really sit with that this next few days around the time of the full moon and see what that is and where it's coming up from you and where you need to release. So that's the message. So um, now we're going to get started with our meditation. So find your um, comfortable space. And I want you to really bring yourself in the present. Starting with your breath. And you're going to find a breath that resonates with you. No judgment on it's too fast or it's too slow just really find where your breath is and gently inhale and exhale at your own divine space if you haven't done so already close your eyes and just breathe in to different parts of your body into your crown chakra 
third eye, throat, really seeing if there's anywhere there is any heavy energy, anywhere there's tension, and inhale into that. And then the exhale, release some of that tension. Think about your heart chakra. Your solar plexus, your root chakra. If any energy into your legs and your toes, again, anywhere you feel tension. Bring that energy forth. And now I want you to think about shedding. Really releasing and letting go of those things, those stories, those relationships that don't serve you. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take our hands and gently do a downward motion on our skin. So as if to say, just like the snake, we are shedding that old skin. We are letting go. What is it that doesn't serve us? You can do your whole body, move from your forehead down to your neck, your shoulders, your back, your sides. You can feel free to stand up slowly while you're doing this if you want to go down your hips and your legs and really feel that energy whatever it is that you're just letting go and shedding and making space for your own renewal your rebirth take some time and really feel that energy And once you've done that, come back into yourself. And think about those things that you want to step forward into. Maybe there's a creative project that you've been thinking of. Maybe there is something that you'd like to start. A place where you'd like to go. Anything that you'd want to explore that maybe you've been holding, your back, holding yourself back with. What's coming up for you? What is that renewal? What would it look like if you allow yourself to really step into that? And as you're sitting down thinking about that, and of course taking your breaths and being in your body and really feeling that, I want you to imagine the full moon shining on top of you. Full moons are as much about releasing as it is really shedding light on some of the things that we need to see more. We need to understand more. We need to explore more. So what is that for you? And as you sit under the moon, I want you to imagine that that light from the moon is igniting the fire and the light inside of you. So as you're sitting there, imagining starting from the center of your chest, that light shining. You really embodying your fullness in your light. And with each inhale and exhale, that light grows and shines more out. So we're going to sit here and take a few breaths. And as you take those breaths, imagine you 
the light growing bigger and bigger coming from the center of your chest. Imagining that is your light, your own light that you always have inside of you and that you are now giving yourself that permission to step into it, to welcome this renewal. Welcome you stepping into your truth and your path. We're going to sit here for a few moments and really imagining what that would look like, how you can embody that, and how within the next few moon cycles, you can really start manifesting and showing up as your full self in all your might. You are worthy, you are magical, and you are capable. deep breath here start coming back into your body wiggle your toes wiggle your fingers round your neck a little bit just to pick some movement move those hips and when you're ready open your eyes and as you continue if this is a full day for you um I really want you to think about how these themes play, come into play for you. Trusting the mystery of life and also shedding anything that's hiding your truth. What layers are you hiding under that you're ready to shed? It would be a good time to just really journal on that. You can come back to the meditation if you want to um, really see it and hear it more and write down one to three ways you can really start step, stepping into that light, stepping into yourself and unapologetically doing so. Thank you for joining me. Happy full moon.